guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be trying out Eye Magic Cosmetics. These are called their Matte Liquid Lipstick Kits. They came with two different kits. One is called Maples, the other one is called Whisper. And basically, we're going to be trying them out today. They're running for $25 each. You receive five full size lip products in them. And basically, you guys are supposed to be really high pigmented, long lasting, transfer proof, waterproof. They're supposed to have a velvety matte finish and basically we're going to be testing it out and just seeing how to look on how does it feel and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos just like this one and as always let's go ahead and try these on we're going to start off with the first lip kit and this one is called whisper and it is so easy the packaging all you have to do is slide the little container to the side which makes it really really easy and very convenient so i'm going to go ahead and start off first lip shade this one is called nude mood w01 it is the most pretty rosy pink lip shade I personally really love it this feels really lightweight so far by just swatching the back of my hand I like the dofa applicator it has a fine point to it as well so it makes it really easy and convenient that we don't need to have a lip liner at hand we can just use a dofa applicator really carefully and line our lips with it and if you guys didn't know this is a cruelty free brand which I really really love and so far I didn't pick up on a scent on any of these liquid lipsticks so far but we will see so so let's go ahead and try on Nude Mood. Now for Sweet Talk W02, this is a really pretty rosy pink lip shade. It's definitely more pigmented than the last, but I personally really like it. It makes me think of spring summertime and i personally really love how creamy the formula is it does take a second for it to dry so i do want to share that with you which i personally kind of like just because we have control of how much we're applying on and if we make a mistake we're able to go back in and clean out the edges around our lips if we want to do that so you guys let's go ahead and try on sweet talk Lady Keller W05. Let me tell you, she is very pigmented, more of a vampy lip shade. I would describe this lip shade to be more of like a deep rose with a little bit of a wine type of color. I don't know how to describe it, but it's so pretty. I personally really like it. I feel like this is a really pretty date night type of lip color to apply on or a fall winter shade that you can apply on for the holidays. I just really like it. It's very, very pretty. And I feel like it has like a neutral undertone that it could work for many different skin complexions. So you guys, let's go ahead and try on Lady Killer. Now for Plum Rose W04, I would describe this lip shade to be like a rose, but kind of like a hot pink because it is very pigmented. Let me tell you, that's literally with one swatch <laughs> of the applicator. So, so far it's very pigmented, you guys. I don't notice any patchiness or anything just by swatching the back of my hand. Obviously, we will see once we apply it on, maybe that will be a whole different story. But this is a really vibrant lip shade, definitely bold when you're ready to stand out and make a statement, which I really love. So you guys, Let's go ahead and try on Plum Rose. Next is a gentle kiss. This is W03. Now I would describe this to be a warm corally lip shade. I personally really like it. It reminds me of like summer, springtime, and the springtime girl is just around the corner. And I personally really like it. It's a very unique lip shade. I don't think I own many coral lip colors like this one. So I'm really excited to try this one out. So you guys, let's go ahead and try on Gentle Kiss. Now for kit number two, Maples. We're gonna go ahead and open this one up and go ahead and swatch on each of these lip shades. First lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on. This one's called Spicy Vibe M02, and this is a really pretty tangerine lip shade, you guys. It is very, very bold, so if you love a bold lip, this is gonna be for you. I feel like this is really nice for the summer, springtime. I feel like even if you wanted to even wear this for the fall, winter season, you really could. You can play around with different toned lip liners or maybe a little bit 
dar darker in the complexion or even can apply this alone line your lips with it in the center of the lips you can definitely apply a pretty new lip shade to give a little bit of more of that pout effect on your lips you can do so many things so so far I really love it this is definitely different than what I'm used to wearing but I'm really excited to try this on so you guys let's go and try on a spicy five Now for Brick Red M01. This one's definitely not a Brick Red. <laughs> this is more of like a nude type of orange. Still very bright, vibrant, but a little bit too more toned it down than the last lip shade we swatched on the back of my hand. But still really, really pretty. I love the neutral undertone that it has. I feel like it will complement many skin complexions. And you guys know here on my channel, anytime that there is a neutral undertone into something, I feel like it will look well on my skin complexion and work for me so we will see so you guys let's go and try on brick red now for rule breaker this is emma 03 and i feel like this is a really really pretty lip shade. I'm really excited to try this one on. It has like a terracotta type of undertone to the pigmentation of it and I personally really love it. It definitely falls in the maple type of windmill of the color range of the lip shades that they currently have for this kit and I really love it. I love how pigmented it is, how unique it is. So you guys, let's go to try on Rule Breaker. Tango Fever M04. This one is definitely a blue toned red. Your very traditional vampy red lip, and I personally really like it. This is something that we should all have in our collection for the holidays, for a date night, for a night that you just want to add a little oomph to your look. I feel like it is so pretty, and I really love how creamy it is, you guys. So far, they're gliding on effortlessly. So let's go ahead and try on Tango Fever. go ahead and swatch on it. This one is called Cherry Bomb. This is Emma 05 and this is a really pretty lip shade. I personally really like it. It's a little bit deeper than the last lip shade we swatched on the back of my hand but I personally really love the color tone to it. It's a definitely more of like a cherry type of wine, a deep red. I know it's really really nice. I love how unique it is. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection currently and I personally really love it. You guys know me. I'm not really into like a traditional red lip color. I'm more into like a deep cherry type of deep brown but this one this one's definitely really nice so you guys let's go and try on a cherry bomb guys we have tried on and swatched on all 10 matte liquid lipsticks now let's go ahead and talk about them so I do want to mention that even though the packaging looks really simple nothing too fancy don't be fooled <laughs> it does have a really nice dofa applicator which I really love it has a nice fine point to it that you can use to line your lips in case you don't have a lip liner at hand to match to you know use and I really love that the formula definitely takes a second for it to dry which I like because it gives us control of maybe if we want to go around our lips and clean out any of the edges or any if we made any mistakes or anything like that and I love the pigmentation it's definitely really pigmented it glided on really effortlessly and powdery on the lips and so far we like it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel like you have anything on and I will say you guys I love the fact that it's cruelty free and it's fragrance free I don't notice the scent on any of them which I was really really surprised and I just really love the pigmentation. With one swatch of the application, I was able to apply an even amount on my lips. You can definitely layer this on without worrying about feathering or moving around the product and making a mess. So I personally really loved that as well. And for $25 for five different liquid lipsticks, I personally feel like that's a pretty good deal just because it's clean. You get a nice, really dope applicator. There's no scent to it. It's fragrance-free. And you definitely get a really nice application. It's very, very pigmented. Let me tell you, it leaves a stain. I don't know if you're going to notice this on camera, but it's left stains on the back of my hands from the swatches that I did, and it left a stain all around my lips. I feel like 
Uh, it was just so hard to remove. This is definitely really long lasting. I had a trouble removing the liquid lipstick swatches when I applied them on my lips. Even I was using a makeup remover and I was having a, such a hard time. So it will definitely leave a tint all around and you will have to work to remove it. I even feel like I still have a tint all around my lips from using this product. So out of all 10 lip shades, do I have a favorite? I do, you guys. I really loved this really pretty terracotta shade. It's called Rule Breaker. I really love this more rosy, pinky shade. It's called Sweet Talk. And I really loved Nude Mood and Brick Red. They're really pretty on. I found them to be really unique. And I really loved how you were just able to glide on these lip colors. The Dove applicator has a nice fine point to it. It picks up enough product. You can lose it to line your lips. And that makes it really convenient because because if you don't have a lip liner at hand to use, you have, you know, a nice pointed tip to the Duff applicator that you can carefully line your lips and use it as a lip liner. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please comment down below. Ask away and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Let me know out of all 10 lip shades, which one was your favorite? As always, thank you so much iMagic Cosmetics for working with me and sponsoring today's video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you guys all in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.